In this video, I'll show you how to connect a wired mouse to any iPhone. Now doing this is actually very, very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go and grab your mouse and you wanna go ahead and basically make sure you have the right port to connect it to your iPhone. So if you have basically a USB type A cable or USB type C cable, whatever you have, you want to make sure it plugs into the bottom port of your iPhone. You may have to grab a dongle of some sort. A lot of these are basically lightning to USB type A or USB type C or USB C straight to USB type A. Or if it's already a USB type C mouse, then you can just plug it in straight to your iPhone 15 or above with USB type C cable. So make sure you have the right connectivity port to connect to your iPhone. So then what you wanna do is you wanna plug it into the bottom of your iPhone just like this. Now when you do that, you might see that your mouse will automatically turn on with that red light. But if you start moving your mouse around, you'll see that nothing is working, right? Well, you have to do one more step. What you wanna do here is you wanna go inside of your settings application, just like this. So come right in here. Then you wanna go and scroll down until you see a little option that says accessibility. So tap right into accessibility. And then what you wanna do is you wanna click on touch. So tap on this touch button right here and all you wanna do, assistive touch right here, click on there. You wanna go ahead and turn on assistive touch. Now when you do that, you should be able to see this circle come up, but also this circle come up too. So now what you'll see is if you move your mouse around, you'll see that the little dot right here will go ahead and actually move around. So now your mouse will basically work as it should. Now there are some things you can customize here. You can go through and change a lot of this stuff here if you want to. So you can go through here and kind of modify these things around. But now, I'll get this installed in a second, but now you'll be able to see that. Well, if you go through and actually use the mouse, you should be able to zoom out of the way you can go and grab this bar at the bottom. It's a little finicky sometimes, but you should be able to go through and use your mouse as you normally would, and that's basically how it's done. So now you can use your mouse, you can click on it. All the gestures and everything will work inside of it. It's really that basic. So that's how you do it. If you wanna disconnect your mouse, you can just disconnect it this way, and that's it, you're now good to go.